you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about money, more specifically how to save money and stretch your dollar. This is one of my favorite topics to talk about. I get a lot of comments down below on a couple of my videos asking what are different ways to stretch your dollar. So I thought now would be a good time to just sit down and make a video on all the ways that I personally stretch my dollars to make them go as far as possible. But of course, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what specifically you do to stretch your dollar, make your budget go as far as you can. And if you like these kind of videos, give them a thumbs up. And then if you are watching this unsubscribed, click that little subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. But without any further ado, here are the ways I personally stretch my dollar. Number one is to always carry a water bottle with me and when I go to a restaurant to order water. There's some sort of stigma that millennials just don't wanna spend money and they'll order water everywhere they go because they wanna like beat the system or ruin the economy. But my response to that is you guys have genetically modified so much of our foods, we barely know what we're putting in our body, let alone do we want to just put in empty calories from beverages. So it's not all millennials are horrible who want to ruin the economy, it's also us fighting back against all the genetically modified foods. Fun fact, do you know that if you drink water at a restaurant and eat out two to three times a week, if you drink water every single time, you will have saved yourself $1,000 a year just in drinking water. This does not have to include going out on a girl's night or celebrating a special occasion. This is just like nine times out of 10 getting water instead of like soda, iced tea, or any other type of charged beverage. Number two is to never pay full price. Whether you just shop sales or you add coupons, find a way to save a little bit of money in everything you purchase. Whether it's buying clothes on sale, having a gas card when you go to the gas station, or if your grocery store has a loyalty program that gives you discounts on gas when you buy your groceries there, try to find a way to cut costs everywhere you spend money. If you take a little bit of time, research, you know, just look into an expense, nine times out of 10, you will find a way to get it cheaper. A lot of the furniture I had when I first moved to land was bought secondhand so I can, you know, fill up my first apartment without, you know, spending a whole bunch of money. And now that I'm in the spot to slowly start buying my own furniture, now is the time that I am looking to buy things that are not used, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy things on sale. If you watch a few of my videos from last week, I filmed in front of this really beautiful couch that you guys cannot see, but it's brand new, not used, but it was the floor model, so I did get it at a discounted price. Number three is to take those coupon groceries and meal prep. Prep your lunches and dinners to keep yourself from going out and buying them while you're working or going out two or three times a week. Cut back on your restaurant spending by meal prepping. You've already bought the food, you should use it. The amount of food we waste here, at least in America, is ridiculous. We can actually fill, I think they said, we could fill an NFL stadium from the ground all the way up to the top with wasted food that we in America don't use. We go buy it, and we waste it. I don't even wanna know how much money that is. I'm not gonna look it up, but if you are trying to stretch your dollar and you already have gone out and bought groceries, put them to work, keep your money in your pocket and meal prep. For me, if I have a really busy week and I know I'm not gonna be home for lunch or dinner, I will be that girl who will meal prep 10 meals, five lunches, five dinners, put them all in one bag and I have a refrigerator in my personal office. I put them all in there and I eat them as I need them. Number four, we kind of already talked about when we said never pay full price. I wanna to stress to never pay full price for gasoline. There are several ways to get a discount on gas. We already talked about if you had a loyalty card, some people keep all of their change in their car to maybe take two or three bucks off their gas bill. Some people will actually take their credit card points and put that towards gas. If you have a credit card that gives you points for things that you already buy, for example, I have two of my bills that are electronically paid every month paid from my credit card and that gives me a little bit of Chase reward points. I will put my Chase reward points into cash and use that cash to help offset my gas bill. Number five is quality over quantity. This typically has to do with like clothes and furniture. For me personally, I would rather have one nice 
maybe a little pricier set of professional clothes than go to the mall and buy a bunch of crappy clothes that I'm gonna have to replace in a year. For me, I like to shop at places like White House Black Market and Taylor Loft, J. Crew. I will go buy things there, but I will be smart about it. I'll know that I need to fill a wardrobe. And once the wardrobe is full, I don't have to buy anything else. I don't think I bought anything for the workplace in like six to eight months because I sat down, cleaned the closet, made sure I had all my dress shirts, skirts, pants, slacks, heels all put together. And once I saw what I already had, I didn't need to go buy it. But in the event I have to go buy something in the future, I will go out and spend a little bit more so I know that it lasts a little bit longer. And number six are for those who are really serious about stretching their dollar. And my last tip of advice to you is to pay everything in cash. There's something that's a little bit more painful about watching the actual cash physically leave your hand or your possession that makes you want to spend less. I think they make it so when you use your credit card, you don't really see the money leaving your pocket, so it's a lot easier to spend, a lot easier to overspend. So if you are really, really trying to stretch your dollar and save as much as you can, pay for everything in cash. If you already have your budget and you know how much you need to spend a week, go and get that out of your bank account, hold it in your wallet, and sometimes I just leave my credit and debit cards at home, and I will make sure to only use the cash I have, and sometimes it incents me to like try to keep five to $10 of it and cut a little bit more. See what happens to you. Just hold on to some cash, go about your week, and see what happens. Anyway, those are my tips for the best ways to stretch your dollar. Once again, leave me a comment down below on certain things that you have personally done that have helped you save money and prepare for the future. I'm very excited to see them all. If you like budgeting and money videos, give this one a thumbs up and once again, subscribe to this channel by clicking that little red subscription button down below to keep you up to date on every piece of content shared on this channel. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.